All right, y'all, final story of the day here. So this is, uh, this is some good news, to say the least. So this is in Marijuana Moment. They say the following, two out of three Missouri voters certain to vote yes on marijuana legalization ballot initiative poll finds. So you're going to see the, the exact number is 62%. Let's see what they say here. As a marijuana legalization campaign in Missouri continues to fight back opposition from prohibitionists and certain cannabis reform allies, a new poll finds that a strong majority of voters in the state are ready to approve the ballot initiative in November. The poll from Survey USA, which is sponsored by eight local TV stations, shows that 62% of Missouri likely voters are certain to vote yes on Amendment 3. That includes majorities across all political affiliation, all political affiliations. So 77% of independents, oh, excuse me, 77% of Democrats, 57% of independents, and 54% of Republicans. There's also majority support among each age demographic surveyed, except for the oldest, which is 65 plus, where there's still a plurality, 45% in favor of the initiative. Quote, we continue to see an outpouring of support to make Missouri the very first state in the country to legalize marijuana, while at the same time automatically expunging past nonviolent cannabis offenses by a vote of the people. John Payne, campaign manager for Le Legal Missouri 2022, told Marijuana Moment, Missourians are excited to go to the polls in November and enthusiastically support Amendment 3, which will bring millions in revenue to Missouri annually, while allowing law enforcement to focus on fighting violent and serious crime. The survey question in the later poll is particularly specific, not just asking respondents directly about the likelihood of their vote, but also detailing the key provisions of the legalization ballot initiative. Here's the question. Missourians will also vote on a ballot measure, Amendment 3, which would change the state constitution to allow the purchase, use, and sale of marijuana for personal use for adults over the age of 21, allow people convicted of some nonviolent marijuana offenses to petition for their release or parole, and to have the records of those charges cleared. Place a 6% tax on retail marijuana sales. On Amendment 3, are you certain to vote yes, certain to vote no, slash not certain? And, so, and then this goes on here. Look, I love this story so much, and I love it because it keep, there's a point I keep coming back to for you guys, and even though I make it a lot, I don't make it nearly as much as I should. I should make this point every single goddamn day on this show. When you have direct ballot initiatives, it's like 80% of the time or more the vote goes in the proper direction. Um, this is one of those, this is, this is a system that would allow us to work around the intense corruption that we see in Washington, D.C. and in our politics. Because look, we know the way it works. We've all seen the Princeton study. The wealthy get a, a lot of what they want, and there's no correlation whatsoever between what working people want, the bottom 90% want, and what they get in terms of legislation. Um, but every time, not every time, the overwhelming majority of the time, you give people a direct vote on the issues at the state level, they go the right way. Best example, in the 2020 general election, Florida voters picked Donald Trump over Joe Biden by a pretty hefty margin. But those same Florida voters voted 60% to raise the minimum wage. So even when they make a bad decision in terms of specific candidates, if you give them specific issues, they make a good decision. And this is why, like, I, I don't buy into the line. Like, Bill Maher makes this point a lot. There are others who make this point a lot of, like, the American public are stupid. People are stupid. The voters are dumb. And it's like, no, I can understand the argument that people are generally ignorant, as in they don't know a lot of historical facts. I think that's fair. But stupid is something else entirely. People are not stupid. When it comes to voting directly on their interests, they are not masochists. They're not going to make their lives worse. They're not going to make the lives of their fellow neighbors worse. And that's why all the time when you get a vote on raising the minimum wage, it almost always passes. Anytime you get a vote on legalizing marijuana, it almost always passes. There was one time when it didn't pass. I think, was it Ohio or Michigan? It was one of those states. And um, what what the the wording of the the bill did or the wording of the referendum did is it said we're legalizing marijuana but only one specific company can sell it and there was like 
some nepotism deal with the with the governor. It was like a corrupt deal that they made. And the people voted that down, again, not because of the substance of legalizing marijuana, but more because of the corrupt economics of that deal. So you can make an argument they were even right in that instance to vote that down. I mean, I don't know. Maybe if I was there, I would have voted for it just to, like, get the ball rolling. But I could certainly see an argument for not voting for it just because you're setting up, you know, the foundation is, is corrupt when you set it up like that, right? So, God, man, every state should have direct ballot initiatives. That's point number one. Point number two is... If at the, at the federal level, every time you vote for president, you should be able to vote directly on the top five issues. And, and you could have a process by which we determine what gets on that ballot. But if the American people could vote on raising the minimum wage, it would have been raised a long time ago. If the American people could, could vote on um, pro-union legislation, it would have gotten through a long time ago. If we could vote on raising taxes on the rich and corporations, that would have gotten through a long time ago. If we could vote directly on ending wars, that would have gotten through a long time ago. Um, the list goes on and on. I mean, there's only, when I think of what my positions are, most of my positions are majoritarian positions. I'm, I'm just a centrist with most, most of the American people. Um, but the handful that I'm not with the majority are just that, a handful, you know? And I could sacrifice having a handful of my beliefs not being implemented because the public is not with me uh, versus the system we have now where, like, none of what we believe gets implemented at all. None of what regular people believe gets implemented at all. So, and people would point out, okay, but direct democracies have downsides. I think that's all true, but the downsides of what I'm talking about are way less than the system we have now, and it's not even close. And by the way, any sort of objection that you have to the system that I'm laying out for you can be solved by having a constitution that's actually enforced. So the whole idea of a constitution is that rights are not subject to the whim of the majority. So in other words, if you have a right to free speech, it doesn't matter if the public says, 62% of the public says you should be banned from saying this unpopular thing. It doesn't matter because you have a right to free speech. So a right is off the table. It's set in stone. At least at its highest aspiration, that's the whole goal of a constitution. That's the job of a constitution. So if you have a constitutional direct democracy, that's sort of what I'm calling for here. Take rights off of the table, put them in a lockbox, but everything outside of the rights, why shouldn't the people have a direct vote on it? Because it, if you're saying, I don't want the people to vote on it, then your position must be, I want a small group of elites to pick uh, what we should do with policy. And that I just don't agree with. That's going to have more problems. That's going to be a worse system than anything that I'm talking about right here. So now you have deep red Missouri. The state went to Trump, but 62% of them are going to vote to legalize marijuana. Look, I have faith in my fellow countrymen. It's that simple. It's that simple. And I'm 100% in favor of every single avenue to try to rid the system of corruption. Because it is. Our, our system is totally corrupt. In the eyes of the Supreme Court, money equals free speech. And that's what's led to most of our problems here. But you have to, you know, you really do have to do a constitutional amendment to change that. That's a very difficult bar to clear. But what's not nearly as difficult a bar to clear is to just have all the states do direct ballot initiatives or have a federal direct ballot initiative. Uh, you could work right around that corruption like that. And so I really think this is the answer. Um, you know, this, this poll makes me really, really happy. So anyway, there you have it. Missouri, keep going, man. I hope we can drive this number up to like 70% by the time the vote rolls around. But I will say, a little, mom uh, little moment of caution here is this. If this doesn't pass, which it should, but if it doesn't, it will undoubtedly be because the forces lined up against it ran misleading ads and bombarded the airwaves leading up to it. Because that, again, the only time we see these direct ballot initiatives fail... That's the reason why you basically have moneyed interests that are the opposition that run misleading ads. Sometimes they flat out lie and they bombard the airwaves and they move the numbers enough so that they can eke it out. Every time we've seen one of these things that are good lose, that's why it lost. So just keep that in mind. But hopefully this one, at least as of right now, is looking very, very good. All right, guys, that's the show, y'all. I love you very much. One more time with the shameless plugs real quick. Everybody uh, like and subscribe on YouTube. Comment if you can. Um, click that little bell notification when you subscribe because then you get the videos, uh, you know, you get notified every time a video drops. And so that definitely helps out in the algorithm because the algorithm never gives your boy any love. So we got to find a way to work around it. Anyway, love y'all. Thanks so much for listening. Uh, you Again, you can listen to the show now. Uh, the full shows are on the various podcast outlets, Spotify, uh, Google Podcasts, etc. You could check it out over there if you don't want to listen to the individual YouTube videos. And big shout out to the patrons, big shout out to all the Substack supporters. Again, I'm super proud of the fact, never had a conversation with an advertiser in, in over 10 years. 
Um, I, I might be the only one in this space that's done that, and that's because of you guys and your amazing support. So I love all of you. Thanks so much for listening, and I'll talk to you next time. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop, and watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.